Hi there, brothers and sisters. This is day five of our month of prayer. I hope all of you have had the opportunity today to uh, worship from home uh, with your church family. If you haven't had the opportunity to do so yet, uh, I'd, I'd love for you to be able to enjoy our, our church's worship service today, uh, Memorial Presbyterian Church, uh, Memorial PCA, uh, you can you can go there online and, and worship with us. Today, our attribute of God that we're going to think about as we go to him in prayer is that he is incomprehensible. It's a big word that really just means he's beyond our ability to really understand. Uh, his his knowledge, his, his wisdom, the vastness, the infinite nature of our God is, is far beyond anything that, that our our human brains, complex as they are, uh, it, it, our God is far beyond anything that we will ever be able to understand. 1 Kings 8, 27 says, But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, how much less this house that I have built. Let's go to our Lord in prayer. O oh, Father, you are... You are beyond our understanding. Oh Lord, we cannot, we cannot attempt to, uh, to even begin to know uh, or, or, or to pretend that we can understand you, that, that we know your reasons why you do the things that you do. Father, we know what your word says about you because that's what you've revealed to us. That's what you've chosen to show of yourself to us. And we praise you for that revelation. Father, we praise you that your word tells us that you are that you are holy, that you are righteous, that you are good, and that you are loving, you are merciful and gracious to your children. Oh, Father, we thank you for showing these things to us, and yet we recognize we only know these things because you've shown them to us. Oh, Father, we know, we know from your word that there is so much more of yourself that we cannot cannot hope to understand yet in this life or even in the life to come. You are infinite. And so, Father, we worship you. Lord, we don't understand why there is so much suffering in the, in the world. Lord, we know it's because of sin. We know that it all came about because of Adam, because of, because of original sin, because of the curse. We know that, Father. And yet, Lord, we cry out and we ask for your mercy on those who are suffering, on those who are hurting. Oh, Father, we pray that you would sustain them even now. Oh, Lord God, we don't understand you, but we worship you. We love you. And we desire, Father, to, to grow closer to you. And so we ask, Lord, that you would draw us in in this time now in which there is so much suffering and so much pain. Father, we pray that, that your all sufficiency would be enough for us. Hold us close to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.